Hey, Gavin. Um, just, you know, how did it feel to, to not just get the first home run, but then to, to be able to, I know it got a little dicey toward the end there, but basically to, to put it away with that second home run? Yeah, anytime you can help a team win, it's always good. Uh, just going up there looking to have a good at bat and, um, you know, help any way I can. And I got a pretty good pitch to hit, something I was not necessarily looking for, but um, either way, you know. You had mentioned the last time that we had talked about, you know, being more aggressive. Are you are you feeling any more confident now than even maybe a you know a few days ago? Yeah, definitely. Uh, Brownie Bates and um, Rob and I have been putting in a lot of work and uh, just trying to stay locked in and um, picking guys' brains whenever I can because a lot of these guys I haven't had a chance to face. So uh, just asking a lot of guys a lot of questions and um, just going from there. Thanks. Next question from Bill Plunkett. Go ahead. Gavin, your, your slow start and having to go over to USC for a while, how much do you think was the product of a weird start to the season and the preseason, and how much was it you struggling with maybe the expectations that come with being as, as uh, well-hyped a prospect as you are? Yeah, uh, I don't really look at it as, as like a problem to, you know, have that pressure. Pressure is kind of like a privilege. Uh, but, yeah, I think, you know, I just didn't have the at-bats that I wanted to. And, um, you know, I just didn't feel comfortable in the box at that time. And uh, so just going to USC, getting at-bats on a daily basis, uh, you know, kind of helped me uh, feel what I needed to and iron some things out. But, uh, you know, just take it for what it is. And, I, you know, that's what I needed. And I got a lot of at-bats, which was good. You don't think that um, you were maybe trying a little too hard to live up to the expectations? Uh, no, not necessarily. Thanks. Next question from Pedro Mona. Go ahead. Kevin, was there an at bat where you felt like it turned for you this season? I mean, like as soon as Sunday or something like that, is there a specific at bat or plate appearance that you can point to that, that you felt like you were right again? Um. Honestly, I can't point to one specific one. I think uh, it's just collective, just getting in the box and seeing pitches and uh, just continuing to work on a daily basis. I think that's kind of the biggest thing. I don't think there's been one specific at bat where it was like a eureka moment. You know, it's just kind of continuously uh, trying to put in work and uh, just getting more comfortable in the box with more at bats. Cool. Thanks. Got a question from Ken Gurnick. Go ahead. Gavin, you said that there wasn't really one at bat, but uh, Dave Roberts talked uh, about uh, the ten pitch walk. Well, what did that do coming into this game for you? Sure, yeah, uh, you know, I was just that at bat looking to to grind it out and get it to the next guy. You know, pass uh, pass the torch, and, and Corey's obviously one of the hottest hitters in baseball. So for me, when I got down 0-2, uh, I was just trying to to grind it out and, and pass the torch to him and. Um, yeah, I think, you know, anytime you can work a 10 pitch walk in that situation, it always helps your confidence a little bit, but, um, yeah. Thanks. We've got time for one more. Go ahead, Michael. Hey, Gavin, congrats on the, the game that you had. Uh, so even just as recently as a couple of weeks ago, Dave Roberts said you still looked a little uncomfortable or hesitant at the plate. Now you seem to be in there a little more confident. Is that like what's behind that? Is that just you trusting your eye more? As you said, just getting more reps. What is what are you going through in your mind when you're stepping in the plate now than let's say a couple weeks ago? Sure. Yeah, I think just a little more confident. Uh, the more at bats I get, the usually the more comfortable I feel. And like I keep saying, me, Rob, Brownie, Bates uh, have had a lot of really good conversations. And it's not always just mechanical. A lot of it is also approach and how certain pitchers might be trying to attack me. So. I think just overall, just getting in the box and seeing pitches and getting more comfortable with these guys that, that I'm facing and how they're trying to attack me and different teams attack guys different ways. So uh, it's definitely a learning process, but uh, it's all it's all good because at the end of the day, it is it is a process, you know. Thanks.